Welcome back to the top wins and fails. Let's begin. Starting off in clip number one, we have Van getting chased by two members of the enemy team as she makes her way into the try. She will continue down towards the bot lane. As she makes her way into the next bush, she will head up towards the wall and go for the fake flash. It looks like she has him fooled at first, but Victor being a little too curious is going to head into the bush she is TPing in. Luckily, she will be able to final hour and tumble, which makes her invisible. She makes her way back into the bush and recalls the safety. Next up, we have Yasuo in the middle lane against the enemy Heimer. Extremely low on health, he will make his way back to the turret after taking the concussion grenade. Heimer coming for the rocket kill, but Tom Kinch is going to save the day as he throws the wolves, eating most of the rockets, which in the end save Yasuo. Next, we have Lissandra against the enemy team. The enemy Morgana gone for the ultimate. Lissandra will be able to escape just barely, but the enemy Kane is on her tail. As Lissandra gets back into the enemy team, she will end up going down, but as she does so, her damage will spread, and while she is dead, each member of the enemy team will go down, giving her the pentakill. Next up, we have a duel in the middle lane. LeBlanc versus Rise. Rise getting the upper hand, though, as LeBlanc drops low, extremely low, making her way to the turret. Rise is going to ult, sending a minion, a ranged minion, on the turret, which then will be enough to finish off LeBlanc, giving him the kill. Next, we have the blue team looking for what looks like a win as they start to put damage on the Nexus turrets. They're going to get a little greedy going for the kill on Misfortune. Trist on the outside, though, will be able to land an ultimate right before going down, pushing the entirety of the enemy team into the base, allowing her the pit to kill. Now we have Blitz hoofing it from base as the red team are going for the bear and the ward was there, so he realizes what's going on as the ward goes down. Blitz is taking the long route a little bit as he heads through the jungle. The enemy team continue to put the damage on the bear, and luckily their damage is a little lackluster as Blitz continues to head that way. Getting slowed down after the overdrive, he will head into the pit now as he <laughs> heads right towards the bear and the enemy team. Blitz will wander into the pit, stealing the bear, and with the assistance of his friendly misfortune, wipe out what's remaining of the enemy team as she takes the triple kill. Journeying to the bot lane, we have the Rift Herald getting summoned by Jax as Jax jumps on Lux. She will bind him, but it's not going to be enough to finish him off. As Kha'Zix now setting his sights on Jax, he will exhaust him and drop him low. Kha'Zix, though, in the process, will fall low himself as he retreats back towards the turret with the Rift Herald. The Rift Herald will turn around and swipe both Lux and Kha'Zix, giving Jax the double kill. Now with some ARAM gameplay, the red team pushing in on the blue team as a fight is going to break out. Kane will be the initiator after the Lux ultimate. As he goes in through the wall, he will be able to put out a heavy amount of damage in the process though. The enemy Annie taking a double herself as Kane takes the triple. He will finish off Azaya for the quadra kill, leaving one left. Just so happens she has four kills herself, but as she finishes off Kane for the penta, he will be able to get one final skill off to take the kill on her as well, netting a double penta. The next play, a little reminiscent of the Ash teleport back in the day, is Ash is going to throw out her ultimate, then jump in the cannon and get shot towards the bot lane. As the ultimate goes out, it will manage to hit the enemy Cho'Gath, stunning him as the Nami ult follows suit. Nami landing the predictive bubble in a series of awesome plays, allowing Ash to kill. Next up, we have Kennen in the middle lane going for the kill on Kazakhs. Kazakhs will leap away as he heads back towards that mid. Kennen does have backup in his friendly Amumu and Nico. As the Amumu ult goes out, Kennen will follow suit with his own ultimate, followed by the Nico ultimate. Nico taking the triple, Kennen taking the kill on Yasuo, resulting in four kills for the blue team. More plays from the bot lane with Draven and Velkaz getting surrounded by the enemy mid laner. Zed comes in for the kill. He will be able to put out a huge amount of damage on Velkaz. Velkaz going into the Zanyas as Draven in the meantime poking away. Velkaz does end up going down, but Draven with the crazy ultimate taking the kill on Zed, Syndra, and then following it with Kaisa in a 1v3 triple kill. Next up with some ARAM footage, the red team pushing for the turret. Kendra dropping low will be forced into the ultimate. Eve is going to make her way around the battle and head into the bush as the enemy team go for the engage. After the enemy team takes a smidge of damage, Eve is going to go in to finish them off with the instant pinch to kill. Next up, we have 
Next up, we have some more ARAM footage as Quinn goes into the ultimate. She will head towards the enemy team in that bird form. As she does this, the enemy Maokai is going to get a little too curious, going for the twisted advance and jumping on top of her. Unfortunately for him, she's going to take him for a ride, heading towards the base and flashing and into the Nexus and picking up the execute. Making our way back to the Summoner's Rift as Hecarim is surrounded by the blue team. He will take some damage for Kane before blast coning towards the enemy Urgot. Now heading down towards the river, he is going to be ulted by the enemy Malzahar. As he drops under half health, he will be forced to ult through the wall. As he does this, he will make his way towards another blast cone, jumping away and getting more distance from the enemy team. Having a hunch that the enemy team is still in pursuit as Kane shows up, dropping Hecarim low, missing on the knockup though as he gains that speed boost, heading towards the bush, he will throw out his emo, but run once again into Urgot, avoiding his pinecone as Hecarim heads back into the river and back into the top lane, Urgot not quite done as Kane chases from the back. Hecarim will juke between bushes as Kane dashes after the flash, missing on Hecarim. Hecarim will head towards the turret, getting executed. Next up, we have a level 1 invade that goes wrong as Thresh heads towards the bush. He will land a hook on the enemy Vanguard as he follows up. Vanguard looks like he might be in trouble, but he's going to flash Juke right into the bush. As three members of the enemy team follow suit, they're all three going to flash over the wall, allowing Vanguard to get out of there safely. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Wins and Fails. If you want to check out the previous episode, be sure to do that. Also, if you have any plays yourself you'd like to be featured on this series, be sure to submit it in the description down below. My name is Chris, a.k.a. Jump of the Pack. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time. The new night phenomenon, rapping to the beat.